Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I am just going to show some books that I've altered. I will put a picture of the book, how it originally looked, here. Okay, so I first gessoed all the covers and then, um, oops, Ooh, I bumped you, sorry. On this one I just used some, um, you know, made some pink from red and white painted it all and I kind of wanted the cover to show through um, like you know I don't know why just to kind of add another little dimension or texture and then I took a couple of my stencils and just um, used a regular paint bra brush and did kind of a stencil effect with white and then this piece is from oh golly I can't remember what paper pack. Anyways, these pieces are from uh, October Afternoon Travel Girl, as is the chipboard and the little, um, what's it say? Yeah, Travel Girl. And the camera. This is from a dollar, um, dollar spot at Target. And this is just some other dollar spot twine. I just added a little tie for a little cuteness. And then what I did with the books is <clears throat> Maggie Holmes has a uh, PDF that you can buy through Studio Calico. And I used some of her, I guess, layouts, you would call it. But what she does is she shows how you can take out pages here and there. So you can, um, um, have, you can put three-dimensional embellishments in your book without having it get too fat. So I did that, and then... Um, I just added kind of some places where everybody, whoever gets this can put, tuck little pictures or whatever, a little name plate. And then I kind of just used the same layout for all the books. These are old plays. This one happens to be Fiorello with Tom Bosley as a young man. Um, long story about those. I bought these at Junk Bonanza. And when I told they were only a buck each, and the guy's like, Oh, what are you going to do with them? And I said, oh, I'm going to paint them and alter them. And literally, he walked away. So I don't know if I got he got mad. <clears throat> but my um, scrubby keeps saying that I probably shouldn't have done it to these books because they're first printing 1959. And they have all these old um, famous actors and actresses in the plays and the pictures. But... I just thought, you know what? Oh, well, they're a dollar. If they were so great, he should have sold, sold them for more. And I went and bought them. Anyways, this is Travel Gore. So I just kind of, like I said, kind of did a formula. Little bookmarks. I cut out some photo frames from my silhouette, which I think I killed. Um, another photo frame. And then I just, some of the pictures I just kind of wanted to cover up with, but let it kind of come through so and then this is like a Celeste home kind of a take on what she does <clears throat> otherwise just kind of different little I like that I'm going to use the Martha Stewart butterflies just to put them on there just a couple of my favorite scallop that Miss Yoli Bean turned me on to and I've broken two of them so far I don't know why and that's from October afternoon. I think it's 9 to 5 collection. And here's some silly little pictures that are in the book. So I kind of just... Oops, did I bump you again? Sorry. I like this little layout. And then they can just put their pictures. They can tuck them in. Put them on there. <clears throat> I love this. And my neighbor was reading it. She goes, did you realize that it says goodbye, goodbye, Ben, goodbye? She goes and you got the flight attendant waving goodbye. I said, um, yeah, I do, but I didn't. Um, it just happened that that's the page it landed on. And these are um, Travel Girl banners. So I just added little details here and there. And I'm just going to go through these pretty quick. And then on the back page, on the back cover, inside, <coughs> excuse me, I just put a piece of paper with a scallop. And then here's the library pocket that was already in the books. And see, look, at they never even were checked out. Crazy. 
Anyway, so, and then I just tucked in another little piece of ephemera and then a bookmark that I made. Um, so that's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was using Travel Girl. This one is, <coughs> excuse me, using Glitz Designs um, Findlay. It's either Findlay or Finley. I think it's Finley actually. And then I did um, Heidi Swap uh, stencil. I also did some um, with the lavender. I used uh, bubble wrap. And then I just put down a doily. And um, that's another ta Target thing. Here's some vintage seam binding. And then just different uh, washi tape. And again, same little formula. But on some I'd tuck something. <coughs> Excuse me, this is Mar Maureen Stapleton. In one of her plays. And it's, again, it's the same. And I did that because I wanted to make as many as I could in a very short time, you know, and otherwise, you know, you certainly can change them up every time you do them, but I kind of wanted an easier formula. This one I left the um, top of Glitz paper. Some of those paper companies do that. I think October Afternoon Cosmo Cricket has fun. So I just left what they said because I kind of liked it. Like this one is, the best part of me is you. Have courage to follow your heart. I thought those were kind of cute. Another banner. <clears throat> These I cut out myself. Like I just made flags and then took a scallop circular punch and cut them in half. And then this is the Ginny Bolin banner. I love the little Finley. It's either Finley or Findley. Okay, so here's this one. This is um, just some flags. I or yeah. And then a piece of the ephemera from the pack. All right. And then again, another piece of ephemera. A little card that whoever gets it can play with. Um, and then I just added this. This was a 6x6 six six pad. So I just cut and put another piece of paper up here. <coughs> Then I have, <clears throat> excuse me, this is uh, American Crafts Mayberry Collection. I love this one, how it turned out. And again, this is the Marine, Marine Stapleton. I left her on there and I kind of just, I was going to paint it over with the gesso and I thought, oh, and I put, put uh, wiped some off, but some stayed on. And I, I like that because it's kind of, I don't know, artsy fartsy maybe. And then this is a recollection, so I love this. But I added a uh, flower that I got. Uh, I don't remember who makes the flowers, but and then that's just a little heart from the photo frames I have on my silhouette. And I wrapped this around and then added my own little doodads. I love this stripe paper. So cute. And then, I didn't do my doily there, but that's okay. And then this is just an old three-dimensional felt thing I had. Okay, so I'm going to go fast through this. That's who this is. This one is the Mayberry. <clears throat> Isn't that cute? I love the combos. Same here. Little birdie from the house felt stickers and this is a great way these are um, flags um, they're post-it flags from the dollar spot at Target these are actually these three and this one <coughs> excuse me and then I just took a little pin and made the string for the banner but this is a great way to use up your stash to use you know those paper collections you bought and you haven't used yet? I I probably use three or four pages from a six by six on each of these, you know. And then here I've got some more ephemera, a couple of bookmarks. And there went my 
uh, wash machine, something fell off. And I've got, I do, I'm going to try to sell these at the sale we got this weekend. And I've only got $16.50 on them, so hopefully I'm not giving away the store. But, you know, people won't pay that much money at sales. <coughs> Excuse me, okay, so here's my favorite one, of course. And this is Celeste Holm. She happens to have a straw hat on and a belt, but it's a weird play. Invitation to a march. And um, Sister Betrill's Mother Superior is in here from the Flying Nun. That's Jane Fonda, Celeste Holm, and Eileen Heckert. I don't know who the guys are. Okay, whoopsie. Bumped ya. Okay, so this is a, a horseshoe that Tina Hales sent me. Style your dude. Thank you, Tina. And Fearless, this is the Sarsaparilla collection from October Afternoon, all the papers are. And then I um, gessoed it and I painted it with a lot of different colors, like added some pinks and reds and browns. And then I used um, one of my uh, Punchinella stencils. I did the Stars with that, cut out all the little num uh, letters from the collection, and then um, I Mod Podged everything on. So even the lace is Mod Podged. Then after I Mod Podged it, you're able to go in with your pit big brush markers, and I colored her in. And I really love how it turned out. And when it was black and white, it was kind of, in fact, Scrubby's the one who said I should do something with her because... You, you you don't see that as a focal point, so he knows. <clears throat> so I used a lot of the ephemera pack because I got a ton of it from the October afternoon sale, and I love this for the name plate again, the little two heads. Here's the whole group, <clears throat> and then Tina also sent me some fun little stickers. So I've used some of those. She made a cowboy mini for me that I've... I use most of everything except for a few things. And that is the $1.50 stamp set from Michaels. <clears throat> All these flags were punched from the Ginny Bowen punch. Here's some more of the... I made a little wanted sign and then just I made my own little flower things and what not? There's Jane Fonda. See? And then more ephemera. And then I made some cute tags from the denim paper. And then that's another from Tina. There. Well, they should have been. And then this is Heidi Swap's confetti stencil, which is so hard to find. I finally found it. I've been looking for it for months. I saw it at Michael's once, didn't get it, and then never could find it again. I ordered it from eBay from, I think it was Scraps for You. I usually get my stuff through them. And the order went through. I waited a week. And I thought, well, that's kind of... And then I waited two weeks. And finally I went. And they canceled the order, but I never got an email. Well, I finally found it. Where did I find it? Can't remember now. I think it was, I don't know, more Scrappy Doodle or something. Anyways, here's the, and I love it. So there's some more fun stuff. I just use a glass, you know, with the Joker. Ephemera, ephemera. I like this little D. There's the heart from my photo frame. And then another jean tag. And here's, Tina sent me these two. I only used one, so I kept one in here. And then a, that's the map of Rio something. Anyways, there's that one. Then, oops. Yay, I bumped you again. This one my neighbor already bought, so 
she saw it and she's like, I gotta have it because she's a teacher and their librarian loves books and loves gardening. And I found all these quotes that, I just happened to find all these quotes about books and gardening. <clears throat> and as soon as she saw it, she wanted it. This one I used kind of more of a collage um, thing. And I just, at first I thought, God, it's so super busy. But I I wanted it a little busy because the garden is all flowers and bugs and butterflies. And I, I really do like how it turned out. So I um, first gessoed, of course. And I only Mod Podge the cover. But I'm going to go back and Mod Podge the rest. Because then if it... You know, if her hands are wet or dirty, it won't hurt anything. So these pieces are from um, Mayberry. I bought the sticker pack from Mayberry. These are flowers from Michael's. No, from Mayberry. Never mind. These are Michael's flowers, I think. Anyways, they're from wherever. And then, you know, doily. So I just got it all on, glooped it all on. Mod Podge doll, and then I used the Vicky Pompanopano. I think Vicky, she's Clip and Cuts Vicky Pompano. I don't know how to say it. I thought it was Pompanopolis, but it's not. Yoli makes fun of me. Anyway, she uses the Pit Big Brush Pen in kind of a ochre or a brown, and then just highlights around everything. I really like how that turns out. And then I did some doodling here and there and everywhere. Up here, here, up here. So I do like how this turned out. So I'm not done with it yet, but I put all these um, uh, quotes that I found online. This is a, um, a, a cut that I have from the silhouette. It's actually a recipe card, but I just cut them in half for journaling. And then I used the big, huge... Okay, let's see, I must have moved my thing here. I used a big, huge, I think it's a McGill punch for the folder tabs. <clears throat> and then some stencils. And then these are all the tags I'm going to put in. Some I have. Oh, this is the Mayberry collection. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah, this is, what did I say? Yeah, this is the Mayberry collection. These things and all this stuff. And then I just um, punched out some, or cut out some tags, and then put, and then I lost my journaling stamp set. Nobody can find it. I've had, I looked for it, Scrubby looked for it, I even had my niece looking for it. We were all looking for it. We can't find it. So I hope it didn't get thrown away. Oh my gosh, that's my big nightmare, that my favorite journaling stamps that got thrown away. And then, um, oh, and then I'm going to, I made these. These are cards from the Mayberry paper pack. So I just cut them out, and then, you know, they can put their seeds or just um, whatever. So, and then I've got these journaling cards. And then I did kind of do more stencils in this one. These are all journaling cards to add to it but so otherwise I don't have anything done just the tab and all the quotes I think the quotes were kind of fun so and I think that is it for that one yep but I do like how the cover came out but again I don't know if I want to put this one in the sale or not my cowgirl one oh, I can always make another one I suppose but anyways not with her um, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. These are so fun to make. Oh, and I will tell you, um, the formula is to save six pages, cut seven out. Save three pages, cut seven out. Save three, cut seven. Save three, cut seven. Until you get to the end, and then you want to pay, save six pages again. But those six pages in the back and in the front are glued together as with three pages to make one. So that's what you do is you save them all and then glue three pages together. And I just used Mod Podge on some and Beacons on another. And I will have to say that the Mod Podge I think worked better. The Beacons curls a lot. 
You know, I think this is actually the one I did beacons and it's kind of curly. You know, but anyways, they're a blast. They're so much fun. Um, and we're going to start a swap for this on your paper pantry. So watch for that coming up this uh, couple of days here. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.